I want to talk about the company we keep as Christians. The people you call friends. The people you move with. That is your company. If you don't know the company that you are keeping, you may not know that you are not a child of God. You are a religious person. If you say it is possible for you to keep the company of unbelievers and you the believer, then I don't know where you are getting that one. Righteousness and wickedness will never be friends. Where the righteousness is telling you to say love, wickedness will tell you to say hate. Righteousness and wickedness are permanent enemy. You cannot change wickedness into good things. It is only a human being who can be changed from that character into a righteousness. But the word wickedness will remain just like that. You know that my friend is a prostitute. You keep on moving together. Everywhere she goes, you are there. Whatever she's doing, because of money, one day you become a prostitute. Because you are in a long company. Everything that you'll be doing will be wrong. So know the company that you are under. There are people who used to sing inside the church, praising God. People enjoy their voices. Today, they can't sing because they are in a wrong company. You have sought the gift of God because of that wrong company. You choose to enjoy fleshly things than your personal encounter with your Father in heaven. Know the company you are keeping. If you keep a long company, you become a long person.